In this Photoshop CS6 tutorial, we're going to create a Vista-inspired beautiful wallpaper. You're going to, we're going to have some glowing lines going across. So begin with a nice wallpaper size document. We have a transparent uh, image here. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to choose the gradient tool. And you can customize your own colors. You can choose foreground to background color. You can even click on the middle here and then just customize your own colors by double clicking on the bottom squares here. You can even try playing around with the sliding things around. So click OK. We're going to choose a radial gradient, not a, not a linear gradient, but a radial gradient here. And we could use guides to find the true center, but I'm going to just click drag. You see we have a light blue to dark blue color. You can reverse it if you want it the other way around. So here's our background. And now let's uh, select a big circle. So I'm going to press Control minus to zoom out a bit. And I want to get a nice big circle. So I'm going to use the elliptical marquee tool. And let's see what we do here. So if I get a nice uh, ellipse here, I can just see that I'm selecting this area here. You can press Control plus to zoom in. And I'm going to use the brush tool. Now the brush tool, I'm going to make sure that it's uh, it's uh, it's, it's pretty soft, so the hardness is not hard but soft, and the scale is uh, maybe uh, 200 pixels or so. Let's uh, hit that little drop down box again to actually just click click off of it to uh, get rid of that box. And let's press the square brackets to increase the size a bit of the brush. So you can see if I paint, it turns gray like that. So let's press Ctrl Z. We want to choose the color gray. So I'll just choose a gray somewhere in the middle here as my foreground color. What we want to do is we want to choose a little bit of gray here. So I'm kind of kissing the edge there. You might want to press Control Z to delete. Just get a little bit of the edge here, just like that. So we use the natural painting techniques here. Sometimes in imperfect techniques may look better. So now that we have it gray, um, we have to make sure we undo that, make sure we're, we go onto a new layer. I apologize for that. So just make sure we know we're totally aware of what layer we're working on. So now that we have this, um, what we want to do is we want to change the mode to uh, screen. So screening somehow brings out a nice effect. You can see that uh, you see a little bit of the layer underneath it. And essentially, we could have also just chosen the color white and reduced the opacity, but somehow you can s see that the, the result is pretty similar, but somehow you should be familiar with the idea of using these little uh, layer adjustments. Okay, I'm going to press Ctrl-D or select deselect, and, I, and this looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this. Now, I could press uh, right-click duplicate layer, but let's press Control J just to get used to some of the shortcuts. We're going to jump to a new layer, Control J, and then this is where I'm going to transform this layer. So you press Control T, you can rotate it a bit, and we might want to scale it up. Hold down Shift to resize in proportion, and you can see that if I move it along this way, it looks pretty good. Maybe I won't rotate it so much. So that's not too bad. Press Enter and you can see the effect is, is kind of pretty. Let's try one more technique here. Let's try changing the elliptical marquee tool though, to a rectangular marquee tool. And let's just uh, grab a big chunk near the middle here. So make sure, press Ctrl D, make sure your feathering is set to zero. We don't want to remember any feather settings. So I have a nice mar rectangular marquee tool selected. I'm just going to go maybe two-thirds and now use the paintbrush tool. We have a big fat brush here. And what we're going to do is we're uh, going to create a new layer. I should probably name this layer. Anyways, we're on this uh, top layer here. I'm going to paint such that I'm just catching the edge a little bit on gray. I don't want it gray. So this is where I choose the mode to be screen. So it looks kind of glowing in a pretty way. Let's press Control D or select, deselect. Take care of that. 
Now let's try something interesting. Uh, this layer here, if I hide it and show it, it's this part here. But I'm going to actually go edit transform. Edit transform and let's go to warp. If you go warp, you can actually click on these little corners. So let's press Control Z here. Or press Escape to cancel the transform. Let's try that one more time. Edit transform warp. You can actually gra grab the corners and do some interesting things here. So if I grab the corner here, you can uh, bend bend the lines here. Well, this this corner would be more important because this is where we see the white lines. So this one here is more important. And you can even click in the middle, in the middle of the area to kind of warp it warp it around a bit and press enter when you're finished your transformation. So we have a very pretty line going across, and we use the technique of starting off with a nice uh, line and warping it. So the idea of a warp is a very interesting technique. So let's uh, duplicate this layer, Control J, and let's uh, use the Move tool. You can click on letter V to, to use the Move tool. Let's press up. You can press up a couple pixels. You can even press Shift up to move it more quickly. So we move it up a little bit. And we can even rotate it a little bit, right? Just to uh, get a, just to change it up a bit. And press Enter. So when you actually click on a uh, the um, background layer, and you can see it properly, you can see if we zoom in to 100%, we're kind of getting a very pretty effect. And you can try to balance out the image using your artistic sense. And this is where you can get quite creative trying to make a beautiful line. Essentially, at the heart of the matter is is we're using the paintbrush tool, making a nice uh, line, and we're, uh, we're just uh, rotating things a little bit. And ultimately, um, if we can somehow constrain the, the path of the line, whether we're using the uh, uh, whether we're using the warp technique or or uh, the selection tools or we can remember that we can also use the pen tool. The pen tool itself, if you if you learn how to curve the arc, we can use that to choose a selection and then paint around that. We're really opening up a lot of possibilities to create some beautiful vista-like uh, wallpapers. So uh, have fun, use your creativity, and uh, try to make something beautiful and shiny.